Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about the exports keyword in package.json. So this is what determines which modules your package will make available to consumers of your package. It gives You can specify a default in there, so which one they will pull in by default when you say do a require or an import. Uh, and it provides a bit of an encapsulation so you can determine which modules are internal to your package and, and consumers won't be able to use. There's other things in there, there's like conditional exports as well um, and feature exports. We'll have a look at those as we dive into it. Um, before we do though, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below, change the alert icon to all and you'll get updates for future videos. All right, so I'm gonna create a quick little package, a calculator and an, and an, an app that will consume it and we can look at how we export from our calculator Later and how that affects the way we import things. Um, so let's do a um, a quick calc here. We'll do an npm init, like so. Uh, we'll open that up. That's all good. Uh, right. So let's create a quick file in here and we will export a function called add that will just grab x and y there uh, we'll get it to console log so and we'll just return x x plus y Alrighty. Um, so this is what we're going to uh, use the exports keyword on on this package. If I look at package.json at the moment, there is no exports keyword. Um, I'm just going to ditch scripts just to make it a bit clearer there. So we're going to add that in. Now, there is um, but essentially a legacy keyword that does this for us, uh, the main keyword. So this is like determining the main entry point into your application, the default module. Uh, and by by default, you get that and it's set up to index.js. Since I know somewhere about node uh, 12, the exports keyword is what we want to use and, and adding exports in overrides this main. So that becomes redundant and it gives us a lot more flexibility, certainly in terms of um, encapsulation and then conditional exports and sub paths as well, as I mentioned. Um, so by default this, but we're going to use exports and that's what we should be using going forward. Um, all right, so I'll leave that there for the moment uh, and we'll come back in here. Uh, let's now create um, my app. So this is what we're going to use to consume this. All right, and in here we'll create, uh, we can just have this one as uh, main.js as well. And in here we're going to try and pull that in. So let me go, let me go, um, oh, I've got an old one open somewhere here. Calc, my app, calc, which one's which? Um, let me just close them off a minute. All right, and then we'll come back into calc and open that up. So what I want to do is to be able to do this without pushing it up to npm. So I'm just going to uh, do an npm link here in calc. And then when I come back into my app, I can do an npm link calc and open that up. And then that means in my node modules, I've got calc now, as if I'd done an npm install. Uh, right. So I want to import, I want to import that calc function. Let's go into main.js here and do an import, um, that add function, sorry. Import add from calc. And then we would want to basically call add and say 10. 10. All right, so we're going to have a few problems here straight off. Let's see what happens 
when I try to run this. Um, let's do node main.js. All right, the first thing is that we cannot use an import statement outside of a module. So this did, this is to do with using um, ES modules rather than common JS. I've got a video on that here if you're interested. But what we basically need to do is come into our calc project and actually say um, what type this is. So we can say type and we can say module. Now that so that means calc is a module and we can use the import statement on that rather than uh, require and we also need to do that within our app as well uh, let me get rid of scripts there we'll add in a type and we'll say module as well so with that in place what happens if we do a run now Right now it's saying module not found. So because we're, we're doing our import and it's saying, right, which module, what's the default module I should be loading here? Uh, and if we go back to calc, I've created a main.js and that's where I've got the add function. Um, and if I look in the package.js, I haven't got an exports yet, but I have got a main and, and that is what by default when you try to import from this package, it will look for. So it's looking for an index.js. We haven't got one, we got a main.js. So I could change that over to main uh, and save that off. And then we could give this another run, like so. And now it's working, okay? So we're able to pull that in, but at the moment we're still just using the kind of legacy main uh, keyword. We want to use exports. So let's go back into the calc package.json and add in here the exports keyword. And we will say um, by, uh, by default, so that's by using the dot there, we want to use main.js uh, now actually it does override main but i'm just going to get rid of it just so we can we're, we're clear what, what's going on uh, so we've now got an exports keyword and it's um, referencing that same package and if i run it now that's still working so in its simplest form it's just replacing main um, but what but by doing this we have now um, added encapsulation to this project which means we can only access the ones that we've specified in here. With main, you could still import any other module, but now that I've got exports, that's it. Only the things in exports can be um, imported on our project. So let's have a quick look at that. Let's do, if I add a file in here, um, I'm gonna do it as part of an extra bit. So let's let's add a, a feature folder and in there we'll have um, super add. And so super add will export the function, super add, and this one is gonna be X, uh, X, Y, and Z. All right, and then we'll return uh, X, Y plus Z, like so. Okay, so if I want to pull that one in now, I, I would I would go back to my app and I would say, okay, and we also want to import um, super add. And that's from calc as well like so, and we would just be calling super 10, 10, 10. All right, now what happens when we try and run this now? Let me just clear this out. All right, so, oh, whoops, super add. Okay, the requested module calc does not provide an export named super add. 
bit on my head there. Um, and that's because we we haven't specified that um, potential module, this super add. So let's go back into calc, go into package.json and, and try and add this in now. So I can just add additional exports in here. So I could go feature um, and what's it called? Super add. And this is in feature super uh, feature super add dot js. Uh, and we save that off. Now, what you can actually do here, and we'll do this now actually, is that we don't need to actually specify this because it's kind of, um, we're kind of setting this up with the ability to just say, I want to import feature. Um, and then you can specify this path. So if you picture you had quite a few paths going down, then this would be like an alias for it. So we're just going to import feature now. If I come back into my main.js, and if I say from calc feature, and then we give this another run again now, and now it's calling it. So now, now that we explicitly specified it in package.json, uh, it's now working again. So that was the encapsulation part coming into effect there. Um, so yeah, you've got the default exports, you've got your encapsulation. You can also do conditional exports based on whether it's a node environment, the browser, um, whether it's a development one. We'll have a quick look at that as well. Uh, it's not as much uh, as a, a used feature, but let's have a look. So I could actually do feature here and specify this as an object. And I could say um, for development, we're going to import this guy here. Um, and then by default, we'd uh, import a different one. So let's, let's put that and we'll, we'll have a dev file as well. So I'll grab super add, paste that there. And we'll make that a dev file. And then in the dev one, we can say dev. All right, so is that set up? Yeah, I think we've got we've got our conditional development one here. Um, so if I run this at the moment, because I haven't specified development, we shouldn't see any difference. We should just get add and super add. But if I now do a node, um, and I say conditions equals development and main JS. Now, when I run that, we're getting the dev uh, file being used. So you can get it to specify um, a literally a different import based on um, based on these conditions that you can add in here. Um, so you've got so with exports, um, it's 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 much more feature rich than main. It overrides main. It gives you your your default um, module to import. You can have encapsulation and you can have conditional imports as well. Um, so hopefully when you see this now within a package, it's a little bit clearer quite what is going on. All right. Thanks very much for watching. A um, little overview there of the exports keyword. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if not. And catch you next time. Bye.